guys, welcome to Book Miss. Let's go book shopping. Have you ever heard three better words? It's like if someone says to me, let's go book shopping, like I'm dropping everything and we're going book shopping. That's what we're doing today. So everyone, come book shopping with me. We're gonna buy holiday festive books. Now I have a few on my shelves already that I wanna read this holiday season. And I'm not the biggest fan of holiday books, if I'm gonna be honest, but I really wanna get some for the new year, not the new year, for the season. Last year I bought some holiday books and I ended up reading them and I did enjoy them. I feel like getting cozy in the holiday season, reading a holiday book, like it just like makes sense and it feels perfect and it feels good. So I wanna buy some new ones for this December and we're gonna go to Barnes. I have three in mind I wanna get. So if Barnes doesn't have it, we're gonna go to Target. Cause I know Target has one of the ones I want, but we'll see what else they have. Maybe I'll get one that's not on my list. I want to get like three or four. I don't want to get too many because I don't want to not read them and then holiday season passes and I just have them on my shelves waiting till next year. So we're going to get a couple. Also, my hair looks very dark right now because I just got it done and I'm filming these videos. I'm pre-filming some of them at different times than filming the other ones. So if my hair is different colors or different shades of red in some of these videos, just bear with me and just know that they were filmed at just complete random times and different times of November and December. I cut my bangs a little shorter so I want to put it half back and I was like, wait, I haven't put a bow in my hair in a really long time. Tell me if it looks cute. Is it cute? <laughs> like I could only see in the mirror with like a mirror in front of me looking back and I don't know if it's cute or not. So I'm going in public with it, you know? I just, I think it looks cute. I have no idea, but we're gonna go head over to Barnes. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take my little mini camera. One thing about me, I think I've said this before. If I'm by myself, like with like Destiny, I will bring my camera into Barnes and like no shame film, but by myself, I just something about it. I get so uncomfortable. I just feel bad. I don't know why, even if I'm by myself, I just feel like if anyone sees me filming, they're gonna be like, what are you doing? So I'm bringing this one. If anyone remembers this Canon camera, it's literally just a little mini vlogging camera and it flips up like this and it's so small. I feel like someone could mistake this as a phone, which is no better filming with your phone like this around a store. Maybe it's even worse than a camera because people are like, what are you filming for? But you know, it's smaller and it's more discreet. So that's what we're doing. I also brought my portable coffee because we're gonna bring it with us on this lovely morning. I'm feeling festive, I'm feeling the holiday spirit. I just decorated for Christmas. I'm gonna decorate my shelves today for Christmas. So the holiday spirit is really rolling in. So let's head over to Barnes. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's go buy some holiday books. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. here. I ended up going to Barnes. They had one of the books I wanted and then the other one I thought I wanted. I didn't really read the description before wanting it. I forgot the name of it but it was another winter like Christmas holiday romance but I read the summary and I don't think I would have enjoyed the book after reading the summary. Just because again I don't love Christmas holiday books. I just want ones that'll feel like they're fast paced coming in the holiday spirit. I just didn't think that was the one. So I got one from Barnes. I got two from Barnes. I saw another one because they had a little section of holiday books and then I headed over to Target because I had to get some holiday decor and I found a very fun holiday book. So I have a few here that I already had on my shelves that I'm going to now show you guys. I'm going to do a little holiday book haul together of all the books on my TBR for like December time for Christmas holiday season. So we'll start with the ones that I got from Barnes today. The first one is the one that I wanted to go in and get and that is the Christmas 
Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. This is a pretty old book of hers, I think. I think she redid the cover, like she's doing some of her older covers she's re-putting out, and this is one of them. And I love this cover so, so, so much. I just think it's so cute. The hanging snowflakes and just like the blueprint. I don't know. Something about this really just scratches the itch in my brain. I'm obsessed with this cover. I think it's like a reality TV star and like interior designer goes to the small town and there's like a hurricane or something that put the town in disaster and the main guy Noah is trying to fix the town and he loves his town so he's trying to help repair it and she comes in with a camera crew and a budget a huge budget to kind of like film the process and he's like doesn't want her in here because she's like this celebrity diva capitalizing on their tragedy and he also doesn't want her to fill his daughter's head with the visions of glitz and glam so it's single father holiday season enemies to lovers I don't know I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy this I also love Lucy Score's writing I don't love single father or like any parent tropes but I don't know I'm excited about this one. okay and then I picked up all I want for Christmas by Wendy Logia Logia this is the cover I thought the cover was pretty cute it's like a cartoon cover but the way it's like drawn I don't know I kind of love it I picked this one up and I got this one because of the size of it this is my ideal length of a holiday book it's 220 pages the font is huge we're getting right to the point it's short it's sweet it's simple it's giving me the holiday feels that I need in a romance but we're getting it done in 200 pages you know like I don't want a 400 page holiday book I just don't love it so this was my ideal book even if I don't like the book I know it'll do its job of putting me in the holiday spirit so I don't really know what this is about I know that she loves holiday stuff like she likes holiday music baking cookies going on sleigh rides wearing her reindeer ears and she works at a bookstore that's really cute and then she really wants someone special to kiss under the mistletoe and there's two guys I think so I don't know if this is like a love triangle or she likes one more than the other but there's two guys on the back of the book kind of described one is British and one is a athlete an athlete I'm really excited about this one I feel like it's gonna be short and sweet and again just put me in the holiday spirit okay and then the one I got at Target was Holly Jolly Cowboy by Jessica Clare I saw this and I just needed it they're also at Target well at least my Target right now didn't have any holiday books this was the only one I saw but there were some that I had like empty spots on the shelf so I think maybe they either sold out or something I don't know what happened but this is the only one I found and I love this I don't love the cover I'm gonna be so completely honest like the bright lime green with the I don't know not my favorite but it's a holiday cowboy romance like I had to do that I had to get it I love me some cowboys and I think she goes back to her small town and she needs a job so she starts working at the ranch where her nemesis Adam works at the rest of the ranch goes out of town for the holidays and those two stay there and they work together closely it says so I don't know I'm excited about this one I love me again a cowboy romance and make it holiday I don't know I think like that's fun okay so now here are the books that I already have on my shelves that are kind of like holiday-esque or just like winter-esque so the first one I have is Tis the Damn season by Kimmy Freeman. This one, I don't really know what this is about, but I think the cover is really cute. A Hollywood starlet caught in a scandal and the boy she never got over. A Christmas season they'll never forget. She's a singer and an actress and she has her own headlining tour and yet something or someone is missing. A scandal rocks her carefully constructed Hollywood life and she's forced to return to her Pennsylvania hometown where she reconnects with her first love, Roman Torres. Oh my gosh, it's a second chance romance and she's a pop star. She's not staying there and he's not moving to LA. This is kind of giving one in Rome, but make it holiday because she's a pop star. He's small town, but they know each other. They were once in love, but one in Rome is not like that. They were strangers, but I kind of love this. Pop star goes back to her home, small town. Kind of also giving Hannah Montana. Always gives me those vibes because when she comes back to her, her roots in the country as a pop star, it's just like really fun, but make it holiday because she comes around, I don't know, comes around Christmas season. This one's fun. The next one I have is On Cloud Nine by Kels and Denise Stone. I love their cover so much. These two authors wrote Water Under the Bridge and Our Scorching Summer, and I read Our Scorching Summer over the summer, and it was really, really good. They're all interconnected standalones, so you don't have to read Water Under the Bridge first. Like, I read Our Scorching Summer first. This is the third one in the little series, and I love this cover. And I'm really excited about this one. I know I'm going to be reading this one because this one takes place, one of the settings at a wedding, and something about weddings in books to me, like, I eat it up every single time, and I love it. It says she found her fiance in a closet canoodling with the caterer and now all of her guests are witness to her humiliation and it says she's always strived to be perfect well-behaved daughter and now the problem is she doesn't want to spend her life on the country club autopilot playing the role of a cookie cutter wife with the man her parents arranged for her to marry and then it says until matthew my longtime office crush declares in front of everyone that he loves me and offers to marry me instead <laughs> I'm already eating this up. It's Marriage of Convenience. Also takes place, the first setting is a wedding around, I guess the holiday time. I don't know why I assumed that. Maybe it's not. Why did I think it was? Okay, it doesn't like outwardly say, but it says autumn and winter holiday vibe. So it says it on the little description in that paper that I got when I received this book. So I don't think it's specifically for like Christmas vibes, but I think it takes place in the winter season. I think, I don't know, but I'm reading it anyway because I love the, the summer on the back of this. Like I feel like I'm gonna eat this up. Okay, the next two are actually part of 
I don't know if it's gonna be a bigger series. I know these are the first two that are out and this one actually just came out, but this is, I think it's the Evermore series by Ennis Perkins. So the first one is Where Time Stands Still and the second one that just came out is Where We Belong. And these covers, again, I don't know why, these covers are really doing it for me. Like these are so pretty too. I don't know, I'm obsessed. And these little pinkies with the forest behind them, I'm obsessed. I don't know what they're about, but I know they're like winter love stories. So our main character, Ren, she has early familial Alzheimer's disease written in her genes. To indulge in friends or romance is a risk for everyone around her. And then Aaron was happy with his quiet life, but when a doctor's mistake leaves his father unable to run his Christmas tree farm, he has no choice but to move back to the small Vermont town. So he hires Ren at the farm. He says they get closer, the lines become blurred, they find themselves at a crossroads. That sounds very interesting. This one sounds like me very heartfelt, but this is the first one. And then after this one, you can go into this one, which is again, where we belong. Lexi has one goal in life, making it to the Olympics as a gymnast for Team USA. Her dream was almost crushed when she injured herself last year and lost everything, her coach, her gym, her future. Now she's starting from scratch and the only gym that will have her is in nowhere, Vermont, which is obviously where this book takes place. Nothing and no one is going to shake her focus except apparently Finn Olsen. Finn has spent his adult life traveling the world, never wanting to settle in one place until last year when he came back to his dull hometown to manage his friend's Christmas tree farm. So Finn is friends with Aaron, I now see the connection in these two. After a catastrophic introduction, Lexi wants nothing to do with Finn. The fact that she runs a cabin on his farm makes their interactions unavoidable. <gasps> forced proximity. The more they bump into each other, the clearer it becomes that the snarky flannel wearing man might not be so bad after all. In fact, he might be the first person to ever really see her. Oh, this is gonna be really fun. I love this. I'm excited for these two. I read Ennis Perkins' Our Final Love Song and I'm forgetting the name right now. I'm blanking on it, but it's like one of my favorite romances I read. My, one of my favorite second chance romances I read a few years ago. Um, So I love her writing and I'm really excited about these. The covers are so cute too. These are all of the holiday books that I have on my physical TBR. Thank you guys for coming book shopping with me. Barnes was really fun. There was like no one there because I went in the morning this morning but my little mini camera died while I was trying to film in there because I thought I charged it but it wasn't really charged and it kept dying on me but I kept like turning it back on and it would film again but it would die right away I don't know things were going a mess in there but I got some clips while I was book shopping and it was really really fun these are again the holiday books on my TBR but if I find any or if anyone else enjoys holiday books and there might be one that you really like that want me to read I can get it on my Kindle over the season I just don't want too many on my shelves because again I read them and they're not my favorite books so these ones are the ones that I will be reading in the month or I hope I will be reading in the month of December I'm gonna have a few other reading vlogs probably reading a few of these in them so stay tuned for that I'm very excited to start reading them and getting in the holiday spirit we're starting slow we're starting with buying the books and I'm gonna go decorate my room and my bookshelves for the holidays and then we'll start reading these books so again thank you guys for watching thank you for coming book shopping with me I'm already feeling the holiday spirit I'm so excited and I will see you hopefully tomorrow for our next video bye